Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Gamebox. Now this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to play mini games in a GUI. So if we do forward slash GB, a uh, very straightforward command, we will see the Gamebox GUI. So I have downloaded three of the uh, mini games you can get. There is another one, it's 2048. Um, but of course we have Battleship which is very famous, a very old game. Uh, Gem Crush, you probably played that on your mobile phone and Minesweeper, another classic game. So um, there are a few other things. We can obviously exit the menu down here. We can turn sound on and off. And uh, this just tells you you can find all the games here. The developer said he's going to add more, which is really cool. And we have tokens, zero, because I'm not very good, and a shop. So in here you can buy various things like food. You can buy a chest, golden ingot, or just blocks. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and look at some of these games. So uh, Battleship obviously requires two players um, and you have to find out where the enemy ships are and obviously destroy them. Um, and there are different types of games. There's normal and there is special rule and obviously you can win tokens if you win. Uh, so let's go ahead and play a quick game of uh, Gem Crush. As you can see uh, there are different mode so we can go it's raining gems so much pling or training so let's go ahead and go to it's raining gems and as you can see here um, there are uh, loads of different items and as you know you have to find rows of three or four and um, just try and increase your score by doing that so uh, I'll do this very very quickly let me see there we go another three uh, what else can we do hmm Hmm, this doesn't seem like a very good set of items. Or maybe I'm just rubbish at this, who knows. Probably probably the latter. So um, that is Gem Crush. Um, pretty fun to play if you're waiting for a friend or you're just bored for 10 minutes. And then we have Minesweeper, which um, I'm kind of rubbish at, honestly. So you have to avoid all of the TNT or the bombs. And if you click a place, it will say warnings where there could be a bomb. So two, that's uh, a severe warning. Um, one, moderate, and if you get a three, that means you run away. Just uh, don't go anywhere near that location. So uh, I didn't do very well there, I lost. Um, so if we go back, I think I'll do an easier one. So Minesweeper, choose easy. Uh, we could choose competition, uh, and that's on a bigger grid. And as you can see, there is a bigger cost, bigger reward rewards for the harder difficulties so let's go easy it's only five mines and we have to find them so if you right click that will flag a spot as possible mine so this has two here I would assume this would be a mine I would assume this would be a mine as well and this would be safe oh oh so we found two mines let's click here that is yeah that's quite um, worrying that we have that so let's flag here flag here this should be okay this is probably a mine so how many have we found five so everywhere else should be safe no no I didn't do that very well did I but uh, yeah that's uh, that's how you play it obviously you would probably be better than me but um, yeah maybe if I practiced a bit more and obviously hard is virtually impossible because of all the TNT in the GUI so that is the plugin. You can download it for free off of Spigot. Uh, it's really awesome. It's free, and hopefully the developer adds more mini games soon. So I'll leave a link to the game box, and from there you can find all of the other mini games. Uh, so subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.